Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Senator, one of the gastroenterologists here at Digestive Health Specialist. Today I'm going to talk with you about how frequently you should have repeat screening for colon cancer. The answer to this question is largely based on the type of test that you have performed. There are two tier one screening tests for colon cancer screening. These tests include colonoscopy and a stool-based test called FIT testing. In patients who are at average risk who undergo a colonoscopy that does not find any colon cancer or colon polyps, it is recommended to have a repeat colonoscopy done every 10 years. In patients who undergo the stool-based FIT testing who are at average risk, it is recommended that they repeat this test annually. There is an additional stool-based colon cancer screening test that has garnered more attention recently. This is a stool-based test that combines the FIT test with DNA stool testing, and this is commonly called a Cologuard test. In patients who undergo this test, which is a tier two recommendation for colon cancer screening, they should undergo this test every three years. There are a separate group of patients who are at higher risk for colon cancer, and in these patients, the recommended screening intervals are slightly different. In patients who undergo a colonoscopy and have colon polyps, they typically will be recommended to undergo a repeat colonoscopy between a three to seven year range based upon the types of polyps that they have, the size of the polyps, and the number of polyps that they have. In patients who have a family history of colon cancer in first degree relatives or advanced polyps in first degree relatives, it is recommended that they undergo a repeat colonoscopy every five years. As well, there are certain conditions related to the GI tract that patients may have that put them at increased risk for colon cancer. Some of these include inflammatory bowel disease, as well as genetic syndromes that put patients at risk for hereditary colon cancers. If you have either of these, we recommend that you speak with your gastroenterologist to determine the appropriate screening interval for colon cancer. I hope that you found this information helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at the office. We look forward to seeing you soon.